Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome back to some more Terraria here on this channel. That is right, we are here on Terraria with our lovely people on our house and everything. We've got our um, chest on the roof still and I think I made another chest that maybe you guys didn't see off camera. I gotta put those on so I remember which house each per person actually belongs to. But uh, we put our money in this chest, so we got our gold coin last episode, which is pretty cool. I know it's not a big deal, but we got our gold coin, so we're going to put all of our stuff in this chest. So if we die, uh, like all of our money in here, so if we end up dying, we always have this stuff to fall back on. And uh, yeah, we've got all this stuff here, not the beach ball or the iron, but we're going to sell all of this stuff today, or this iron. Uh, I did go mining for a little bit off camera, not finding much in that mine but I found another dart trap that we're gonna sell so if we head down uh, and sell our stuff to the one person uh, that would be pretty cool so let's see uh, let's talk to him can I sell to him I'm pretty sure I can so this costs 10 silver so that's pretty cool this costs 20 silver get rid of that one silver right there and then we can just get rid of all this copper because I honestly don't need it now one thing I saw with the um, fallen stars you can make mana crystals so I didn't know what that actually was or what they did so if you guys do know what mana crystals do let me know because I have no idea I can make one more uh, iron thing with that but uh, how much money do we actually end up making off of that 60 silver all right so I think that might be enough to get us another gold coin or very close to it uh, let's see I think it's pretty close actually oh wait wrong chest this one uh, is that gonna be enough I think it is actually yep all right I think that's enough for another gold coin so wait doesn't that turn into yeah there we go I was like doesn't that turn into a gold coin I want a gold coin so now we have two and I'm pretty sure we need six for the mining helmet so if we go talk to our boy Edmund I believe he's the one who has the mining helmet it's eight gold I thought it was six all right apparently it's eight I could have sworn it was six what's this piggy bank I'm assuming that's just another thing you can put your money in but uh yeah eight gold for this mining helmet so that's what we're going to be working towards obviously we're not going to get there in this episode because i'm a scrub and uh, i'm not very good at making money but what we're going to do this episode is uh this person right here his name is grayson he's a fisherman and he has something to talk to us about so let's see what do you have to talk about today grayson i want to fish and you're going to find me one ask me about it well that wasn't very nice all right you ever wonder why the lakes on the surface of the snowy areas of the world never ice over? I don't. The fish, however, do. A fish made out of ice would make a great offering to the mighty and amazing Grayson. Go, my loyal subject, and bring me this tundra trout with haste. All right. Is that all the quests? Yep, I think that's it. So he wants me to bring him back a tundra trout. So I think I'm probably going to need a fishing rod for that. I'm not quite sure, but I'm probably. So let's see uh, how we make one of these uh, fishing rods. Let's see. How do I do this again? Uh, let's see. Wooden uh, fishing pole. All right. There we go. Wooden fishing pole right here. Oh, do we need bait? How do we... Uh, reinforced fishing pole. Uh, okay. How do we get bait, though? Like, what do we use to get bait? Uh, I might have to end up looking this up because I have no idea. Let's see. Bait. Nope. That's chain. Empty bucket. Look at all these iron tools that we can make. We might make an iron pickaxe too. Um, and then get some more iron for some other stuff. But let's see. How do we get... Is there a way to get bait or do we have to go do something else? Um, let's see. I don't think we can actually get bait. I think we have to find it somewhere or maybe something else. I'm actually going to look it up and I'll come right back to you guys. Alrighty guys. So uh, I looked it up how to get bait. You probably already knew. But if you didn't know, you need um, a bug net to catch all the bugs and they can serve the bugs as bait so luckily one of our guys here I'm not sure which one but they have a bug net for us so I'm pretty sure it's the guy we always talk to mr. Edmund over here is it you yes it is cost one gold so that's not too bad like we have two gold pieces and uh, to get Grayson to talk to us man we probably probably should oh did I just did I guys I just trashed the gold Oh no, I didn't. Oh my gosh, guys. I actually thought I trashed the gold. I just threw it out. Oh my goodness. I honestly thought I threw away the gold and I was going to like cry all my tears out and I was going to leave the game and try to come back in. But it's okay. We do have the gold. So let's buy this bug net right here and uh, get some bait 
to go fishing. So let's put up this piece of gold in case we die because knowing us, we probably will. So uh, let's see, where's the where's the gold again? Let's throw this away. Wait, can I even trash this? I can trash this, but when you have it in your hand, you press X to drop it. So I knew X was to trash it, so I thought that's what I did. It's not what I did. If you guys got worried there too, let me know. But I prob you probably all knew that I threw it on the ground. I couldn't see it. But here we go. See, if you look at our fishing rod right here, it has three now from us catching all these butterflies. So that means we're going to be allowed to go fishing. So if we go to the snow area, uh, I believe that's probably where we're going to get the frozen trout. Oh, that's a goldfish. We can get some silver from that. So if we just go around, I'm just going to swing this until we get to the snow area. But I'm going to catch you guys back once we're there. Alrighty guys, so we are here in the snow biome and uh, we've got six ammunition or whatever you want to call it on our fishing pole. Uh, they're all right here. So we got a monarch butterfly, a grasshopper, a Julia butterfly, a zebra swallowtail butterfly, a Ulysses butterfly, that's it. So I'm not sure if those do anything. If you guys know if they do anything besides serve as bait, let me know down below in the comments. Like I said before, this is a learning process for me, and some of you guys are probably experts at Terraria. So, uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. And I do read them, by the way. So I know somebody commented on my video the other day, or uh, last week, about getting a blade of grass. Uh, it's a weapon that you go to, like, a jungle biome, and uh, or, like, an underground jungle, and you can get it. But I don't think I'm far enough in the game to be able to get that stuff. It seemed like something that was definitely more late game. So uh, if it is something easier to get, then uh, I will try to do it in like the upcoming episodes. But I believe the great blade of grass was something that seemed pretty hard to get. So that's why I um, didn't end up doing this for that for this episode. But we're going to see if we can get one of those tundra trouts that Grayson told us to get. So if you liked my fisherman impression, by the way, that was uh, then let me know because that was pretty funny. But uh, let's see. I might do impressions for all the different people that you have to get. I'm not sure if I can catch fish. Like, how do you catch fish? Do I just pull it in? Nope. All right. So is is it like when the bobber goes down, like in actual, you know, like in real life and stuff? Or do I just wait here and then realize that, um, you know, this is not how you fish? I have no idea, guys. Alrighty, guys. So I read into it and apparently you need to have a 75 block uh, area of water to be able to fish. So I'm not sure if this one is 75 blocks. I definitely know that the other one was probably not 75 blocks because it didn't look like it. But this one looks like maybe it could be 75 blocks, so hopefully we can get a fish uh, from this. But uh, if we don't, then that's going to be kind of sad because then I, my whole episode is going to be ruined because I can't even catch a fish. But I'm not sure how long it takes to catch a fish. Like maybe this isn't 75 blocks. Like what? Like let's see. Like this is like probably like eight blocks, and it goes well. Maybe not eight blocks. Maybe six blocks. It looks like it goes down at least ten. So it's gonna like it's gonna be like borderline. Uh, 75 blocks so hopefully we can get a fish here I'm gonna wait until I catch one or you know five minutes later if I don't catch one to go look for another place but I guess I catch you guys back how get it catch you guys back whatever I'll catch you guys back with the uh, when I find a fish, I guess. One eternity later. Alrighty guys so basically I've tried doing this for about five minutes now and uh, there's there's no hope man. That is not 75 blocks apparently, and I've looked all throughout this frozen tundra area, and uh, there's no water that uh, looks like it could be the 75 blocks. So that kind of stinks, but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the, the frozen trout. Uh, if you guys know how to get a frozen trout besides being a snowy biome, let me know, or how to raise water levels, or how to get more water in the area, because I could try to redirect this water and bring it over here. But I'm not sure if that's going to be the greatest idea. I could always try to bring it down here. But uh, if you guys have any opinions on what I should try to do, let me know. But there has been a traveling merchant that has arrived. So that's why I wanted to get back home immediately, see if he's there, and see if we can get anything for a cheap price or something like that. Uh, on the way home, I'm just going to swing around my, my bug net. You know, just swing it around. Duh, 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 duh. Hopefully get some bugs in there. Maybe I'll throw my beach ball every once in a while. No, I won't do that. If I throw it and then I don't get it back, we'll be pretty upset. But, you know, oh, no, I went the wrong way. I was going to throw it and try to go forward, but then I went the wrong way because I was looking the wrong way. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit it. Now i got to go chase after it. Now i got to wait. Okay, wait. Come to me, beach ball. Thank you. All right, let's not throw that anymore. You know what? Let's throw it in front of us. Boom. All right, let's bounce it on home. Bounce, bounce, bounce the beach ball, guys. Oh, there we go. We're bringing it home. But, yeah, we'll just head on home, talk to the traveling merchant, see if he has any good deals for us and then see what else we can do for this episode so here we go 
let's bounce it on home we're almost home guys it takes a while so i think next episode we might be building a bridge that goes across the whole world and uh, that would be pretty cool if we did that but this is kind of entertaining trying to hit this, this beach ball no no beach ball beach ball no no beach ball don't worry guys we got the beach ball back and uh, we're almost home, so that's pretty good. By the way, on our adventures, we ended up picking up six silver coins from just killing zombies that were trying to kill me and stuff. So that's always good, getting a bit of money out of it. Not too too good of money, but you know, if I would have killed about 50 more zombies, I might have gotten a gold coin from that. So you never know, maybe monster hunting is the best way to get money. If you guys have a good way to get money, let me know. I keep saying all this stuff like, let me know, let me know, let me know in the comments below when there's like a Terraria wiki that I should use, but I use it and it doesn't make sense to me. So you guys in the comments probably will make more sense to me, especially if you're Terraria experts. So that's hopefully a good thing. But uh, we're about, I'd say, 13 minutes into this episode. I'm probably way behind or way ahead because that's how it always works out. Oh, here's the guy, by the way. Let's talk to him. But uh, hopefully it's not a long episode or a short one. I'd like them to be about the same size every time. A katana? Oh, dude, if we didn't give away our gold, I would have gotten this. Dude, I want this so bad, but I don't have the gold to do it, and he's going to leave the next day. All right, guys, this is our goal. Our goal is to get two gold and 50 silver by the end of this episode, and hopefully it doesn't, like, the daytime is not long enough for this, but hopefully we can get it. Uh, we're, we're not even close, but we can try. I don't know how to get all the monies, man. I just, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm just so confused with all this money. We gotta hurry up, man. We gotta hurry up. Alright, let's just go. Let's, we could sell our iron. Um, do I want to do that? How much... Uh, we'll see how much money we can get for our iron and if it's enough to get the katana I'm doing it because uh, we can always go mine iron But I don't I think the katana is like exclusive to that. So let's see how much we can get for our iron 75 silver. It's not gonna be enough um, Well, this is another five. Let's just do it. Let's just sell it. Let's sell this Let's sell everything to our name because I want this katana. It's probably not even good But uh, ooh, these are actually worth quite a bit of money. Well Okay I'll sell that as well, and uh, is there anything else? I mean, you guys probably thought those butterflies were pretty good, but I want the katana. I'm not going to sell the bug net, keeping that on us. Uh, you can sell this gel just for fun. Uh, I think that's enough, actually, so let's go grab our gold coin. Let's uh, watch the guy just leave. I don't see him anymore, actually. Did he go? No. No, get back here. Wait. Uh, blah, ah, take it. Oh, wait. No, I want it all. Oh. All right. Uh, how much money do I have now? Uh, that's enough. Okay, let's go talk to him. There he is. Okay, shipped in, shipped in, shipped in. I need the katana. Da da. All right, we got it. We got the katana, guys. You probably are all upset with me. Uh, does it have more melee damage than our other thing? Uh, let's see. It's 16 melee damage, 10 melee damage. All right, I think that was a good choice. Look at this thing. Look at this. We're just shredding through everything. We are the bomb. We got a katana. And uh, I actually really like this thing, so if that was a good choice, hopefully it was, but uh, I think it was a good choice. Uh, we don't have any more bait on our fishing rod. We could, we could test out fishing here. Uh, this kind of looks like maybe 75 blocks too. Like, I don't know what 75 blocks looks like. We could always go to the edge of the world and test out fishing, so I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the edge of the world. I'm going to gather some bugs along the way, and I guess we can fish for the rest of the episode. So I'll see you guys when we're at the edge of the world. Alrighty, guys, so the night put us on a no-go for the fishing route. I ended up only getting one thing anyways. I think it was a firefly, so like, yeah, we can't go fishing just yet, but that's okay. Okay, we'll end up uh, doing it in a little bit. Hopefully, we can still do it in this episode. We got a cactus sword that we could get, but that's nowhere near as close as our our beautiful uh, what's it called? Is it was the katana? Is that how you pronounce it? I believe it's called a katana. Yes, katana. So uh, let's see. Oh, oh I don't want to do that. I want to see um, how much you need to craft like a chest plate of the of the cactus variety. So you need 30, we have 19 plus whatever's in our chest. So we could probably do that. I don't really think we need to do that. We could probably do that. There's some fireflies outside, so I wanna kinda grab those. And uh, we got some money on our way over there too. Hopefully we got a little bit, 42 silver. So that's always good. So if we just throw our money, um, oh, I have, wait, where, where's my money chest? I guess I don't have any money chests anymore. So uh, I guess I use it all on the katana. So let's just put that in here and then um, put our copper in there as well. So now we have our money stored up again. Let's just grab this thing up. 
But I guess I will uh, try to head back over to the edge of the world and go fishing to end off this episode. Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to show you uh, some of the stuff we got here before we go fishing. Uh, some of the stuff I got on my way over here. So we have 19 fallen stars, 14 silver coins just from killing zombies and stuff. So that's about 34 uh, stuff right here because we also got a goldfish. So that's also another piece of silver right there. We got this armored shackle as well as a precise shackle. So I'm not sure which one's better. It looks like this one gives us critical strike chance, and this one gives us some defense. So, I don't know if I can wear both. I think it's one of these things, or does it go down here? Oh, okay, so it goes... Can I not wear it? Can I... Swap? Equipped? I guess I can't wear it. Wow, is it a helmet? Boots? Like, this thing right here is a... What the heck? How do I do this? I can't put it on. Or, am I putting it on? Okay, this is the precise shackle. This is the okay. Okay, you can only have one on at a time. I got it, guys. Don't worry. I got it. I think you can only have one on at a time. If I try to put this here, and eh, it doesn't end up working. So I think I want the precise one. I think the uh, critical uh, hit chance is probably better. But uh, there we go. We got that all done. And what else did I get that I wanted to show you guys? Let's see. Did I get anything else? I got some healer potions, and that's probably about it. Yep, that's about it. Uh, we got our fireflies here though so we're gonna start fishing and see if this is how we fish or if we can fish better with this there it goes see look at that it moved like it wasn't doing that in the other thing in the frozen tundra so we didn't get a fish there but it was moving up and down so there we go it's moving up and down does that take a bait uh it didn't look like it took a bait there we go oh we got trout so we got one piece of trout and i guess we don't lose our bait but uh let's see what is our trout uh, I don't think I can give him that as the Tundra Trout, but we got a fish. I'm pretty happy with that, and I think I'm going to end off the episode there. So I hope you guys did all enjoy this episode of Terraria. It was really fun, and we ended up doing some pretty cool stuff. We got our katana, and uh, we ended up failing at the Fisherman quest. So if you guys uh, want to let me know how to get a uh, trout or a Tundra Trout in a Tundra that has barely any water, then let me know. Another, I got a tuna there. Oh, okay, that tuna took my bait. But, uh, yeah, we got the bug net. We got a lot of stuff done in today's episode. So, if you guys want to help me out with anything down below in the comments, let me know. If you have any suggestions for next episode or anything like that, just let me know down below in the comments. But hopefully, you guys did all enjoy it. Nonetheless, I'm out for now. Peace.